Hey Dunchbags, what's going on? It's da 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 is here, and welcome to my review of the newest, uh, it's, it's his first album in eight years, Darude. Uh, this one's called Moments, and I, w I was actually really hyped to hear this record after I'd heard the lead single off it, Beautiful Alien, which is kind of a Darude Sandstorm remake. And uh, if you guys don't know, Darude Sandstorm is kind of popular on the internet for being... Uh, basically a joke, and it, it was a trance track, and I think, uh, speaking as an artist and not speaking as a joke, this album is a progression from his classic stuff. I didn't really like uh, when he was only making trance, and with this album, he combines a lot of different styles. There's a bit of diversity, which I think is the place where this album goes right, uh, which is where Morgan Page's album went wrong, I think. It's a very easy listen to get through. Um, a couple of the tracks at the end are a little bit cringy to listen to just just because of the style that it uses and maybe even the vocalists are a little subpar. But for the most part you'll hear um, clear progression as a producer from Darude. Not exactly what you'd expect after an eight year hiatus, but uh, overall you'll, I think, you guys will definitely dig this one. And for the most part, you'd like to think his progressions actually sound like a progressive house styles, but then the drops, I don't I don't even think he uses a single progressive house drop. Uh, Beautiful Alien kind of leads on like it's going to be a progressive house song, ends up being an electro track. On Coming Home, we kind of get a little bit of that style, but then it ends up being maybe an Avicii kind of style, piano classic house uh, drop, and not necessarily what you'd expect from a modern house producer. One of my favorite tracks on the record, the uh, title track, Moments, uh, leads on like it's going to be this insane progressive house track and drops Electro at the drop just like Beautiful Alien. And like I said, one of the coolest things about the record is the stellar amount of diversity it has, uh, whereas Darude and his classic album seemed to just do a lot of trance and now he's kind of experimented with electronic music, he's developed as a DJ and a producer, and we get dubstep on this album. Uh, we get a couple tracks with that, but the best of the two is definitely Warrior. In addition, we get the track One Lifetime, which has a very weird structure, but ends up being a pretty uh, fine track. The second drop kind of sounds a little bit whack, but it ends up being it, it ends up being a fairly good track. My, my couple of least favorites are probably Turn the Light On, Until I Could Find. Those tracks just kind of don't seem to find their place into the record, and I think he probably could have replaced it with something a little more uh, equal to the record, but they just kind of sound a little bit thrown in, and uh, kind of where Imagine Dragon's last album was, there's just kind of this small section of the album which is just a little bit boring, and that's kind of what I was feeling uh, with this small section of the record. We get the track Peace Revisited, uh, which takes us back to Darude's classic trance style, which uh, is very refreshing to hear at the end of the record. And the closer, a uh, little bit disappointing because it seems like it's trying too hard to be a closer, but also be kind of a dance track. And uh, just didn't really work out in the end. One of the other picks I have of this record is the fact that he has a mix of like extended mixes and regulars and that's just very annoying in albums. Uh, one of the picks I had with the last Cruella album is that same thing. There's Most of them are radio edits, um, which I would like a full album of either radio edits or extended mixes, but we end up getting a mix which just sounds very weird to the ear to hear um, on a record, especially when it's not a mixed record and it's just track straight into the next. Now, overall, I'd say this album is fairly average. Yori DM's Lucas Sox, who I mentioned before in my reviews, also did a small review of this one. He, I think, would give it probably a 5. I'm going to give this one a 6 uh, for basically all the reasons that I mentioned. Uh, one of the best reasons to give it a higher rating is its amount of diversity and Darude's progression as a producer, and one of the reasons to kind of chop it down as a rating is its amount of boringness uh, on the second half and the kind of odd structures that you hear in, in the record. Um, not necessarily odd in a good way, some of them definitely do sound cool, and the uh, kind of subpar vocalists on this one. So uh, what do you guys think? Don't take this record for a joke just because it's uh, the same guy that made Sandstorm. He's definitely to be respected as a producer and I'm hoping I can get supported or get my music supported by this guy because he's a legend uh, someday, maybe in the near future, maybe, maybe far away. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Let me know what you think. Uh, if, you, if you actually did dig this record quite a bit, uh, let me know why in the comments. If you didn't like it, uh, which a lot of people probably aren't going to end up liking it for whatever reason, 
uh, probably expecting the entire thing to be Darude Sandstorm. Just let me know what you think no matter what and make sure to check out the record because it is a very good listen and I'm probably going to end up getting this one. Don't tell my parents. <laughs> anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoy this review and peace out. <laughs>